busted open Doug Mortman, Dave LaGreca, and a fan favorite, somebody that's completely over the top and is doing just an amazing job and, and trying to take out somebody that we, we potentially loathe too, Miz. You know, we, we have issues with the Miz. This guy, I don't know if he'll tell us or not, we'll get into the head of Damian Mizdow. What's up? How are you? How are you doing, guys? We're doing great, and especially now that you're sitting with us. And i got to give you a lot of credit because you've taken a lot from the Miz. You know, Doug is right. You know, meeting him the first time, he kind of grates on you. But you took it for quite a long time before it started getting on your nerves. Credit to you. Well, I mean, who's to say it's getting on my nerves? You know, again, I'm still his uh, personal assistant, quote, unquote. And, uh, you know, until uh, that ends, I guess uh, – I, I will assume that role and ride it out as long as I can. You do, though, feel the fan reaction and, and how into you uh, they're getting. I mean, the, the fans are, are very much on Mizdow's side. Yeah, and uh, you know what? It, it's funny because um, the career I've had, um, you know, I started out, obviously, uh, as someone that was loathed by mm -hmm. the WWE Universe, and um, I always kind of liked that role. And um, now, like, when, when they, they started the cheers and actually, it, it was funny, uh, that started at the, uh, the Barclay Center in Brooklyn. And I just thought, ah, oh, yeah, that was a one-off. And then the next night, uh, we were in Philadelphia. I'm like, well, I got a little bit of history in this building, and it was, it was still that, that type of a crowd. Um, and I was like, ah, yeah, you know what, it was a week. But then we were in, I think, Texas or something the next week, and they, they kept, kept going. And uh, I did not expect it to um to sustain mm -hmm. for this long and, and and be that loud but uh i tell you what it, it's something that i uh i i really enjoy and I'm, I'm so grateful to uh the fans by it because this is doing what i'm doing now um i never thought in a million years number one that it would be allowed yeah <laughs> so it's uh it, it's awesome and uh you know what and like i said the uh the fact that you know the fans are in on it so to speak and uh and that's i think what makes it fun that's what makes it all worth it and though. it's one of those things too when you first started doing the character mm -hmm. like i was like ah, oh, geez you know this is a guy that we in a year we thought was going to be near mm -hmm. the main event and then all of a mm -hmm. sudden it, we, you were so good at it that we fell in love with the character mm -hmm. and that's why you're getting the reaction that you are yeah and, and you know what when um when the reaction i'm getting is louder and longer than guys that are quote unquote <laughs> in the main event uh to me that's the only that, that to me is the justification I need, mm -hmm. and um, you know what? It's like proof is in the pudding, so to speak. So, did it did it start with the with the Cena cash in? I mean, to me, that reaction there and that match, even though you were unsuccessful, I mean, to me, that that took us to another level when we were looking at mm -hmm. you, and and mm -hmm. I thought really it would take you on a whole nother stratosphere. It um, didn't seem to happen at that time, but it but maybe that was the start of something. As did I, uh, <laughs> but um, you know it's they say timing is everything, and um, <clears throat> if uh, if I had gone off in that other direction, you know, Ms. Now would have never happened, mm. and uh, and I have honestly had more fun with this character than I ever thought was legally possible. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I mean, it, it has been just such a good time, and um, you know, from a uh, uh, the the company, you know, allowing me to do it, and. Uh, and, and giving me the freedom, it's just awesome. And, uh, and you know, like, where do we go after this? I guess time will tell. But, um, you know, it, it, it was just everything is a blessing in disguise. And I, I really look at it that way. And things happen the way they're supposed to. And, um, you know, v versus kind of like living in the past and dwelling on that. Like, oh, and, you know, they, they should have done this or that or this should have happened. Um, you know what? We're here now. Ms. Dow's here. And, um, and and to me, it's like in this day and age, you can't say it's never been done before a lot. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> with this whole Mizdow thing, I think it's pretty safe to say it's never been done before. <laughs> you know it's what I true. mean? Like if you really look at some of the stuff I've done in the last few months, and um, it, 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 it's cool. So uh, rapping with Wiz Khalifa being one of them, yeah, I unbelievable. Mean, yeah, like you know, just just things like that. Uh, and, and uh, again, the, one of the, the things pantomiming is unbelievable. I mean, that I mean, that I think yeah. has yeah. taken the crowd that, to a whole nother level because what exactly. you're doing it, the, the focus mm -hmm. intentionally. And this is mm -hmm. I mean, well, WWE does it at times mm -hmm. with the announcers, mm -hmm. but they take the, 
you want the attention on the match. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at you doing your thing outside the ring, and mm -hmm. you know you're doing uh, phantom elbow drops. It's and, unbelievable. And people all over the country are now like dropping on their back. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know, it's flipping like <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, so it's. Uh, and by the way, I, I, I really uh, hope that no one has injured themselves mid-dowing, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, no, it, it's just been great. I mean, it's um, again, like it's. Everything happens for a reason, yeah. and uh, it, it's just, um, to me, like I said, I'm in a great place in my career right now, um, you know, ready for what's next, um, but again, just, you know, you take it one day at a time, and, um, you know, like uh, the, the Kenny Rogers song, no one to hold them, no one to fold them, yeah. you know, and as performers, we're dealt a certain hand, whatever that hand is. You know, every hand's a winner, every hand's a loser. So you just got to uh, to play it the best you can. Speaking of speaking of hands, oh. uh, you were dealt. I mean, to me, if mm -hmm. I was you, mm -hmm. I would not be thrilled that the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is now on the pre-show. Now, it is the WWE Network, though, so I think it's different in that you, know, you don't have to go to a different source. You mm -hmm. can just be on the network. It's it's really part of the show, mm -hmm. but it's not built in the show. How mm -hmm. much does that irritate you as a performer? As a performer, again, um, I'm going to walk out there, and there's, there's going to be a full Levi Stadium, and that will not affect me one inkling. That that I will just go out there and <clears throat> excuse me, do the same thing that I would do if it was the main event, mm -hmm. and that's just everything I have uh, and giving the best performance possible. And, and I'm sure uh, you're probably going to get the biggest reaction of anybody too. Well, we'll see. I mean, uh, you know, you, in my opinion, you cannot. You can't psych yourself out mm -hmm. and, oh, I should be here, I should be there. And you know what? Yeah, I mean, you, you could always make arguments for being in a different position. But, mm -hmm. again, okay, this is the hand you're dealt. How are you going to play it? So, When you saw, like everybody did, like we did, when you saw Brock mm -hmm. on ESPN mm -hmm. and he announces mm -hmm. he's no longer an MMA competitor or even in the mm -hmm. mix there and he's re-signing with WWE, mm -hmm. what's, what's your reaction and, and – What's your take on the, the locker room reaction to, to the Beast resigning? I think it's great. I think it's absolutely great. I mean, um, you know, Brock brings a, uh unbelievable amount of legitimacy. And uh, as a performer, you know, I think Brock is just one of those guys that, you know, he has that, that something that, you know, you just don't see anywhere. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it's just a great, great move for both Brock and WWE. And, uh, and I'm very, very happy to, uh, you know, to still have Brock as part of the company. And and you see the exposure that he's given, you know, exactly. with all over ESPN and exactly. everybody's talking about it. And, exactly. And there's a lot of buzz just a couple of days before WrestleMania 31. Exactly. Exactly. So. So what's your favorite part about the WrestleMania experience? There's a lot going on. You guys are expected to do a lot and mm -hmm. be everywhere. Mm -hmm. And obviously uh, not, not a bad place to be out here in Northern mm -hmm. California. No, 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 no. Um, you know what? It, it's getting to um, you know. Aside from actually going and performing, you know, you get to meet WWE Universe. You get to go and actually interact with the fans and um, kind of like keep your finger on the pulse of what they want, what they like, and uh, and that's a great thing. And you know, as a fan, like wow, what a, what an experience this is like to interact with people and um, you know, just kind of uh, see the superstars. You know, they get the nostalgia there. See NXT matches. Uh, it's just a great experience. So. So would it be copyright infringement if I started to, like, mock Doug as he was doing the show? No. It's easier for him to do it to me because I'm Italian. I talk uh -huh. with my hands uh -huh. and everything, so he can go like this. Yeah. And I'm talking, he goes like this. But if I was able to do that with Doug, that wouldn't be a problem. You not, no, a problem no, no, with no. That there, at there's all? no, no copyright infringement on Ms. Dowing. I, I, uh, that's my gift to the world, I like so it, Ms. Dowing. I yeah. like that. Awesome. That's, that's my gift to the world. <laughs> and, and that outfit that you guys are often in, the black mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. what, what is that? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's a uh, a combination of like a some kind of Hollywood coat yeah. and the uh, uh, Emperor from Star Wars. So it, it's like I, I I don't know. I just I I think I've just now learned how to zip it up right. So <laughs> yes, it takes the irritation level with Miz even further when yeah. y when Miz now has to wear this yeah. ridiculous cloak, yeah, yeah. cloak with mm -hmm. a with a man scarf ish thing. It's mm -hmm. bizarre, mm -hmm. honestly. But he's and this he is where it nice though. The, this is where the credit comes because you you know I watch those Legends Roundtable mm -hmm. on the network and they talk about taking a character, taking it to the next level, or taking mm -hmm. it and see where you mm -hmm. can go with mm -hmm. it. What you've been able to do over mm -hmm. the last year 
it shows how talented you are Thank and you. that you could probably do anything in this company. And I'm expecting, I think we're all expecting big things for you come wrestle this time next year when we're headed towards WrestleMania 32. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, again, I, I, I'd like to think so, but we got to see where the year takes us. And uh, you know yeah. what? And the only thing that's for sure is whatever I'm given, you know, uh, everything I have physically, mentally will go into it. And... Um, and that'll be it. Well, everyone's expecting shenanigans in that main event. So mm -hmm. come in, run in, run in. You, you know, know. You, you know, Rollins comes in yeah. with the briefcase, and you've come in. Yeah. Anything's possible yeah. in that main event on Sunday. You're right. Anything's possible anywhere. <laughs> Mizdow, toss Miz over that rope for us, will you? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for the Appreciate time. It. Appreciate Thank it. You, Thank man. you. All right.